everybody welcome back to my channel Wendy's cookie crochet tutorial today I'm going to tell you how to do a double crochet so stay tuned to learn how to do your double crochet stitch um, if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel like comment it would really help me out thanks to do a double crochet the first thing you do is start off with a slip knot and if you don't know how to do a slip knot I will link um, my video on how to do a slip knot in the description and next you want to make a chain stitch and if you don't know how to do a chain stitch also i will link that video in the description too so at the end of this i want to have 20 double crochets so what that means is i have to make 22 chain stitches and here i was just making my chain stitches and counting them. The reason that I need to make 22 chain stitches is you don't work into those first two chain stitches. Those count as your turning change chain. So when you're done, you work into that third stitch. And I'll show you what that looks like working into that third stitch. So here you have your first stitch, you have your second, and then you have your third chain stitch right there. Of course, those first one and two are your turning, and that gives you the height that you need for your double crochet. So then you yarn over to make your first double crochet. You work into one, two, that third stitch right there. You put your hook in that third stitch, and then you yarn over and you pull through a loop. And now you have one, two, three loops on your crochet hook and then you yarn over again and you what you want to do is you want to pull through two of those loops so now you have one two left and then you yarn over again and pull through those two loops that are left and then you repeat this process you yarn over you insert your hook in your next chain and then you yarn over again and you pull up a loop and again, you have three, one, two, three loops on your hook. You yarn over again and you pull through two of those loops. And then you yarn over again and you pull through the two remaining loops. And you just keep on repeating that process and throughout the rest of your chain. So at the end of this, I will have 20 chains or 20 double crochets on my chain. And it's a good idea to actually count how many that you have. That way you ensure that you're not accidentally making one too many or one less. This will keep the edges even when you get to the end of your project. It's, it's real important that your edges are even so it looks nice. And here again, I'm just continuing to yarn over, insert my hook into the chain, pull up a chain, and then I yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over again, and pull through two loops. And I do that all the way to the end of this chain. My yarn gets a little bit tangled up sometimes. Happens to everybody. Now, since I'm getting towards the end of the chain here, I want to make sure that I work in the very last chain stitch and not in my slip knot. So here's my last chain stitch right there. So I'm working in that stitch. And you can see that I have my slip knot right there. Sometimes that slip knot gets a little loose. So just make sure you're not working in that. And that's why Oh, or at least one reason it's really important to count so you know that oh yeah now I have my 20 or however many you need now what you want to do is you want to chain two so chain one and then two and then you're going to turn your work and you're going to work back into the stitches that you just made so you have your two chains there and you don't work into either one of those chains not unless your pattern calls for it you're going to work into that first double crochet right there. So you're going to yarn over again. You're going to insert your hook into that first double crochet right there. And then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through that loop, yarn over again. So you have one, two, three there, yarn over again, 
pull through two loops, yarn over again, and pull through the remaining two loops. And you're going to continue that yarn over, put your hook through the next double crochet, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Again, you have one, two, three loops right there, yarn over again, pull through two, and then yarn over again, and pull through two. And then you're going to continue this process all the way down until you reach the very end. Now, when you reach the very end, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second, but when you reach the very end, it's really important that you work into that last stitch and you do not work into your chain two space. Working into that chain two space will either make your project uneven or it will add a stitch and that's one thing that you're wanting to avoid unless you're wanting to do an increase and your pattern will tell you if you need to work into that stitch or not some of them do have you working into that stitch i really don't like to because I think it leaves a little gap there and I don't like seeing holes in my work. So I just use that as a turning point and that's all that I use it for when I'm doing my crochet. Because again, to me, it leaves a gap there when you work into it and I don't like how it looks when you leave that gap. And here I'm just continuing this all the way down to the end. And you can see this double crochet is much taller than the single or the half double crochet. So it gives you some height right away. And here I'm at the end, there is my last stitch, I have my last stitch there, and then I have the chain two space. So you have a chain one, chain two right there. So you can see those two chains, they're kind of hard to see, but you can see them right there. So you don't want to work into those two chains. You want to work into that last stitch right there. So you pick up your yarn and you work just like you did into that stitch. Same thing as before. And you completed your second row there. So there's one, two rows right there. And then you can just continue to your next row. You chain two. You turn your work and you do exactly how we did it before. Same exact process as before. And there you have how to make your double crochet. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video on how to do a double crochet. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be the first to know when new content comes out. Um, my aim is to work up videos for the basic stitches and then expand on projects from there. Um, if you want to know what kind of crochet hook that I use, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. That way you can see what I started out with, which is pretty basic, and then what I use now, which is the ergonomic set, because I crochet so much. If you um, want to follow me, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll leave those links below. And if you want to check out my Etsy shop, I'll leave that link below too. You can see what else I make there. Also, if you want to know who this Fabulous hat pattern is by This pattern is the Twisted Bunny and it is by the Twisted Hatter and I will leave the link to her website below. Thanks for watching everybody